let's just create a formula for day sales outstanding. So those of you who have gone through our other finance and accounting courses, this is a very common metric for calculating the efficiency of our collection, of a company's collections. Imagine you have accounts receivable of 100. That means customers owe you $100. Um, during the period under discussion, we've collected $100 of revenue. At the end of the period, there's 100 of that revenue that's still outstanding. There's 365 days in this particular period. And so the DSO, the formula for DSO basically says, well, on average then, that implies that about 36 and a half, let's expand this, around 36 and a half days is how long it takes you to collect, right? If I had more accounts receivable sitting there, it would take me longer to collect, right? And if, you know, if I generated $1,000 of revenue during the year, but you know, in any given period, all of those revenues are actually studying uncollected, well, then it takes me about a year to collect, right? So this is the formula. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a Lambda for this formula. So just like before, hopefully at this point, this is fairly easy. I'm gonna say, well, I have three arguments, right? I want my receivables, so my AR, I want my revenue, right? And I want my uh, days, in period, right? So I've got all my three arguments. I'm gonna put in the data and I wanna make sure that I've got this right. So F29 is my days in period. Days in period. My F28 is my revenue. And my F27 is AR. Once I've got that, again, I could try this out by putting in AR is right here, revenue is right here, and days in the period is right here, and this should give me that same, oh, and I forgot to close the parentheses. Let's make sure that I've got that done nicely. And there's my 36.5. All right, so now, just like before, I copy and paste this in, create my own Lambda, my own function, I'm gonna call it DSO. Let's put that in here and let's identify AR, end of period, AR. Revenue self-explanatory. And last but not least, days and period. the days in the period. All right, again, pretty straightforward. Now, the result is I can invoke the DSO function anytime I want, and all I need to do is give it the three parameters. And I need to remember it's AR, revenue. This is the one, un one downside of this is when you're creating these, you have to remember the sequence, right? If I, if I actually sort of did this in the wrong sequence, yep, so you see it doesn't work if I've got it in the wrong sequence. It has to be in the right sequence of accounts receivable, then revenue, and then days in period.